I've not seen anybody talk about this or show this before, so I thought I'd go ahead and show you this. I have these um, seedling trays set all over my property. They got some soil in them, and I let weeds grow in them pretty much year round. And the reason why I do that is for the bees. So when it rains, they fill up with water. The weeds give the bees a way to actually get into it without um, drowning and uh, works out really well. So if you've got a bee yard and you've got some old planters, fill them about half full of soil, let weeds grow in them. Then when it rains, they'll fill up with water. The weeds give the bees a way to get in to get the water without drowning as the water's on top of the soil. Now another tri trick that I do also is I leave these around my bee yards or pretty close to the bee yards. And in these days this August where it's been, you know, 100 degrees, they really enjoy this. Even though I live on a lake, it's a long flight to the lake but it's a short flight to these feeders. Now another thing I do is I'll leave feeders with sticks of wood in it. And what I've found over the years, they'll go to these ones with the plants growing in them. And once the water gets below the soil, they'll actually get on the, they'll stand on the soil and almost like they're mining the water below the soil level, like the soil is still damp but it's not dry yet then once the soil gets dry they'll go over to this one and they'll get on those wooden boards to get to the water so that's why I have these feeders set all over my property that looks like they have weeds growing in them but really everything here is for a purpose Although you may not understand what the purpose is, I understand what the purpose is. So this is just a helpful tip for one way you can get water to your bees. Um, they don't seem to like have water in them long enough for mosquitoes to try to lay eggs in it and that sort of thing. You know, plus I've got a bug light, bug zapper on the property the bees don't get near it but it think that thing absolutely eats up mosquitoes and it's kind of the same thing the same reason why I've also got planters now these actually were believe it or not <laughs> when I first got cancer I had five I had five grape vines planted in pots and by the time I was able to take care of them only two of them were still alive but I left the pots out here and the bees will get on those too. Now, some of these other things like that right there, I just let fill up so that way I've got water if I need it for to water something with. But a lot of these planters are here just for convenience for the bees. And it works really well. They'll be all over this. Especially as the day gets hotter, there'll be even more. And they've been literally on these planters ever since I woke up around 7 a.m. when I first stepped outside. You can see them, they're just kind of lined up along the edges. Drinking that water up. Don't never find any floating in there. So it works out really well. They don't drown. We got about, I'm thinking around two or three inches of rain yesterday. And then we got some more rain overnight. And it looks like it was a pretty considerable amount. And I'm just basing that off of the fact that um, there's this, this Folgers can wasn't that full last night <laughs> anyways hope you find this tip helpful don't forget to hit the like and subscribe I have a lot of videos on beekeeping homesteading raising chickens raising goats gardening fruit trees 
um, just all kinds of canning, wild edibles, just all kinds of stuff. You know, the channel's kind of mostly homesteading, but it's also about my life. I've also gone into like my whole cancer treatment. You know, if, if I go camping or something or I do a hike, I'll post about that kind of stuff. But primarily I try to keep the topic about everything on my homestead with, you know, some extra stuff thrown in every now and then. Anyways, thanks for watching. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.